G'day YouTube, this is one of those quick videos to show you guys how to upgrade from Linux Mint 17.2 to Linux Mint 17.3. Now, as at the time of recording this video, Linux Mint 17.3 isn't actually uh, completely released per se, it is in beta mode, but it is very very soon to, to be coming released. So I'll show you guys how to do this, but of course there is a bit of a follow up disclaimer as well, uh, do back up your stuff first. But if you just want the latest and greatest of, uh, of Linux Mint and you're not too worried about losing any of your data, then yeah, let's, let's go ahead with this. So, starting off, what you want to do is, uh, first of all, go to the terminal. Now, I have just upgraded mine just before showing this video, but I can do the steps anyway. So, open up that terminal there. Open up, uh, well, I need to open up this to show you guys the steps because I couldn't possibly tell you at all. It's, uh, I will put this in the bottom of the video. But uh, so we've got six steps in total. So number one would be the sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade, so update upgrade the repositories just to be safe. Uh, that's uh, I've already done that, and uh, well I've done everything. But uh, there's no need for me to slow down the video and do that. So step two would be to copy this uh, to update the repositories. So let's see if we can do that. So it's fairly simple. You don't even get a confirmation that it's really occurred. You just uh, copy and paste part two, throw in your password and that's considered done. Step three, much the same, just copy and paste. Here we go, enter, and that's done as well. Uh, then again, do the sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade. That uh, takes a few minutes, so I won't do it uh, on the spot here. And uh, following up is the most important one of all of them, is sudo apt dist upgrade. So run that. I'm sure if I run it now, not a great deal will happen. And uh, so just follow the prompts after you've actually uh, clicked on this. And yeah, just, just go through it. Here we go. Oh, I have a little bit more. Probably because it's in beta mode, there's new packages going up all and all the time. So I'll just do that anyway. But I do know, of course, it is 17.3, as we can see. And last but not least, after this is done, uh, you just need to reboot. Now, with that, you can do reboot through the terminal, or you can just go to the start menu to reboot. But yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. I, another uh, word of warning or disclaimer, you will need to uh, give it a few hours to do this. So if you need your computer for anything important, I do not recommend this at all uh, because it can take a while to download uh, all that stuff from the repositories. But also, the actual installation of the process itself can take a while as well. Probably took me an hour or two, bare minimum there. So I think that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. I think that's, uh, yeah, just, just uh, be aware of my disclaimers. Um, this is a slightly different process to Ubuntu, which is a little bit easier, unfortunately. But um, you, what you could otherwise do is wait for Linux Mint to actually officially release it. But uh, otherwise, yeah, this is the way to go for now, guys. So, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope this is of some help for you. And make sure to back up, back up, back up. You can never be too sure. Put something to the cloud, put it on USB. Do whatever you have to do before you do a step like this. Cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I hope this has been of some help for you.